Sure, I just got out of the pool, but I'm still feeling a little underdressed from today's event. It is episode number 31 here on Transmission Retro Vision. And yesterday I went to my friend Angela's graduation party, and she had her robe on display. And I realized, might as well wear it. It's just sitting in my closet collecting dust. I'll wear it for a video. So, in other news for basketball fans that were watching in America, the NBA Finals ended, the Miami Heat won the title, and we all know who the MVP was, LeBron James. What? 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 Are you serious? Yeah, I am serious. Like, they even thought about this the night of that LeBron was the MVP. Do you even give that any thought? I mean, I, I can be honest with you, LeBron is actually a really cool, cool guy. I don't have any issues with the guy anymore, I have a freaking fat head of him. And this was when he was on the Cavaliers still though. Um, he really lost a lot of my respect wherein uh, ESPN gave him that hour special of him. And it just bothers me when people are handed everything, even as a child, because I have to work for everything. And yeah, jealousy, you call it jealousy, but it just bothers me when people have a horrible ego as well. I'm talking to you, Justin Bieber. Speaking of the Biebs, Kid Rock was interviewed recently by Howard Stern, and when he was asked about the egotistic teen pop star, he said, as soon as he gets a hit, he will be the next Vanilla Ice. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. He really did say that. For one thing, Kid Rock, the rock legend, he already is, that there's impossible ways to shade Kid Rock himself. He basically just said Justin Bieber doesn't have a hit. And he also basically compared him to Vanilla Ice, who is definitely a one-hit wonder. Ice, ice, baby. Ice, ice, baby. Beeps, beeps, baby. Beeps, beeps, baby. Oh wait, didn't hear you do that. As we also all heard recently too, the actor James Gandolfini, and I hope I'm saying his name correctly, unfortunately recently passed away due to a heart attack while on vacation in Italy. And if you don't know who he is, you're probably under the age of 13. Or a turtle. Another rock legend, Bruce Springsteen, what, I'm, I, what I understood was a little memorial service for the actor. And what he ended up doing was he played one of his albums. I don't remember which album it was, but I remember he played it. I remember reading the article and he played it exactly in the playlist order of the album. And honestly, I think that is the most amazing thing in the world for like bands and artists to do that kind of thing. Um, right now, I can compare that to Fall Out Boy with their recent album release of Save Rock and Roll. Right now, with their recent album of 11 tracks, they're currently making a music video for every single song, and they're going right in order on the track list, and the last music video, slash previous music video, goes into the next video, like, it leaves off. And that's honestly one of the coolest things. I'm assuming the service was pretty emotional for Bruce Springsteen to do that, and the reason why I think it's so awesome is because if I think Fall Out Boy would do that, I would probably be an emotional wreck myself. I mean, just think, too, that, like, what if, like, Britney Spears were to release a music video for every single one of her songs? I would be one hot mess. Also, recently, shout out to Black Sabbath. 
I must call him Blacksmith. Their recent album going number one. Originally, I didn't think this was a huge deal, but this is their first number one album ever. And they have been around for 43 years. Just let that sink in for a little bit. Personally, I think that's really weird, and I think it's kind of sad because they're kind of a big deal band, you know? A lot of um, heavy metal lovers... Shoot, I just quoted Gaga. They love Black Sabbath, and they're like, they're, there's like iconic to the heavy metal industry part of music. I mean, I can't be the judge of it. I, this is coming from a guy wearing a graduation robe in the summer heat of when it's like 90 degrees outside who jams to Britney Spears every moment he can, and he also goes to Taylor Swift concerts. I can't be the judge of Black Sabbath. But what this has taught me as someone just as talented and iconic as Black Sabbath, that most of my dreams probably won't come true until I'm 43. All I'm saying, this is going to be an issue for me if I don't meet Britney Spears until I'm 43. I mean, I'm 18 right now, and I really don't want to wait another 25 years to meet my idol. Uh, one last thing I want to talk about, too, is... I kind of been open about on Twitter on how I kind of like Paris Hilton, you know? She's kind of one of those talentless bitches that are hard not to like, right? Well, one person I can't stand when it comes to the category of talentless famous people would have to be Snooki. And if you don't already hate her now, I am hoping to, on the spectrum of liking people, I'm hoping to get you towards the hating side. In a recent LGBT event that took place in New York a couple of weeks ago, Snooki attended and she gave a little bit of a speech in front of all of the gay, lesbian, LG, bisexual, transgendered people. She goes and shouts to the people, I hope to have a gay boy. How stupid are you? Care if you're Snooki, I don't care if you're anybody. Kim Kardashian, you're kind of stupid for naming your child North for one thing, but when the last name's gonna be West. I mean, now I'm just waiting for Drake Bell to name his son Taco when he gets married. I mean, the people in New York would probably get the hell off of this stage. That's just like me going to tell the homeless guy at the end of the street, stop being poor, get money, go into a house. It doesn't work that way, honey boo boo, okay? Snooki, you are my dumbass of the week. The topic I want to talk about this week is recently I have been getting into a fight with my cat. And it's kind of sad because I love her to death, but we're kind of getting into little disputes here and there that start to take place in the kitchen. You know, who doesn't love the kitchen though? She always bothers me for food, and of course I'm not like, torturing her by not giving her food, but that's the only time she wants to talk to me, is she'll only meow at me when she wants food. Other than that, she won't talk to me. And she can be kind of like the both ways, if you don't understand the situation that's going on. She can be that one person where you give your phone number to, and when they start texting you, you automatically regret it. Like, you know, you end the conversation by not replying. Well, they'll text. She'll text me back three hours later, saying hi. Get the fuck away from me, bro. But then she can also be the diva and the pot high school popular girl who will only talk to you for good reasons. Like she could be the kind of girl that is a senior in high school and she will only talk to the nerdy kid just so she can make sure this nerdy boy gets her vote for the homecoming court so her rich parents don't have to go and bribe the main office at the school with money to get her on the homecoming court. It's just because nobody likes her because she's a bitch. I may be speaking from personal experiences on that one. But other than that, my cat and I do kind of get into little fights. 
mostly me being the angry one and her, I'm not really understanding her. Kind of like how Cher tweets, you know? I just get frustrated and she doesn't get her cat treats. That's what basically ends up happening. But if she wants to snuggle with me on the couch once in a while, then everybody's happy. I know I've been kind of grumpy a lot on Twitter and frustrated really easily with people. So, yeah, we'll go with that. Be kind to everybody. I love you. Bye.